trips are getting canceled left and right. You're not able to go and tour that college campus in person. College fairs aren't happening and there's no admissions officers visiting you at your high school. So how do you find a college online? Join me in this video clip. I'm gonna show you my step-by-step -step plan for shopping for college using online resources. Hey guys, welcome back. So the first thing you need to do when you are researching colleges and universities online is to go visit the department in which you would be studying under online. So you can simply Google the university name plus that major. That will take you to the department website. When you are looking at the department website, think of it as the engine of a vehicle. This is where you're going to spend most of your time, and it's important that you really understand how that engine works. Look at the faculty members, read the bios, look at the catalog for the major that you're going to be learning about. Also, read about research opportunities, take note of events happening within that department. If there is a newsletter, read the newsletter. It's going to tell you what's really important to the students, what those learning opportunities are, and what they really, really prioritize within that department. That's the first thing. The second thing that you actually need to do is go and take a virtual tour of that campus. College visits are not really happening right now. College fairs aren't happening either. And your high school might be closed and you will probably not be meeting with very many admissions officers this year. So doing a virtual tour can help. And also if, uh, if you are pretty far away from that college campus, use this to your advantage. When you are doing a virtual tour, simply Google the university name and also virtual tour and take note of any labs, uh, brand new buildings, take note of the campus, take note of the nature if that's important to you, get a really good sense for the layout, even look at a university map to really see uh, if the layout is conducive for you. If you want a huge campus, what is the mode of transportation? If you were looking for that smaller campus vibe, get a sense for how you know connected the uh, facilities are. So doing a virtual tour after you have already read about the department that you're going to be studying at is going to be helpful. The third thing that you need to do, now it's time to understand the statistics. What is it going to take for you to get into that university? Bigfuture.com, collegedata.com, and you can even Google the university name plus freshman profile to get an idea of the stats for admissions. Take note of the acceptance rate, Take note of the average GPA to get admitted. Take note of the SAT, ACT scores. Many of the references I just listed will also give you advice about whether or not they consider legacy as well as in terms of being important. Is class rank going to be important at that institution? Realize if you're applying to highly selective colleges and universities, flagship institutions, or even competitive majors, such as anything engineering, nursing, business, architecture, and the list can actually go on depending on the university you're applying to, you really want to be within that 50% towards the top end of that range for the uh, stats that you're going to be applying to. So get a good idea as to whether or not the institution that you are reviewing is going to be considered a safety target or a reach. Everybody deserves to apply to reach schools. Everybody ex deserves to apply to extreme reach schools as well. However, the most common mistakes that students make is they actually only apply to reach schools. So you want to have a balanced college list created. The fourth thing that you need to do next is ask yourself, is this an institution that you want to learn more about? If the answer is yes, connecting with your admissions officer and demonstrating interest may be the key in getting you across the finish line when you apply. So identify who is your admissions officer at that institution and give them these four things when you're introducing yourself. One, your name. Two, the high school that you're applying from. Three, you want to let them know what is the grad date? What year are you graduating high school? And the fourth thing you want to tell them is what is the major or majors at that institution you're considering applying to? 
When you schedule your meet and greet with your admissions officer, make sure that you have your resume and your transcripts handy as well. Your admissions officer is going to be so impressed by meeting with you. Not only one, did you connect with your admissions officer, but two, you actually already know about the institution. You know the statistics. You've read about the department. You know about research opportunities. You know about the brand new labs and the facilities on campus. And you can have a really great, engaging, deep conversation with your admissions officer about issues that are important to you and make sure that it's going to be not only the right academic fit, but the social fit and that it's affordable as well. So I hope that this has been helpful for, uh, with you. Pro tip, follow up with your admissions officer with a handwritten thank you note, giving them the four things I just listed before, your name, your grad date, your high school, and the major that you're interested in, and let them know thank you so much for your time that you really appreciated that. I hope this all has been so helpful for you. Hang in there. Do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions at all. Again, my name is Dale Price with Access College America. Visit us at accesscollegeamerica.org. Have a great day and good luck to everybody. Prepare, apply, and achieve. Bye-bye.